Hey guys, what's going on? Ken Raider here for Raider Sports. How are we doing tonight? So, I have been so consumed by the fact that the AAF, the Alliance of American Football League, has folded. And so I've been reading every report, every listening to every podcast, every radio show that has been on this subject. I almost completely forgot it was Final Four time. I mean, that's how consumed in this saga I have become. Trying to figure out who's asked to rip out, rip for for the fact that something that was seemingly succeeding has now not only failed but has been completely just and it's magical how it happened. But anyway, we're not talking about that right now. What we're talking about is the fact of the final four. We're going to run through how my bracket went. As you can see, it's a mess, and. The title of this is going to be Auburn Ruins Everything, because that's what they did. I had North Carolina taking the championship up until the, up until they ran into Auburn. I had New Mexico State beating Auburn. I had Kansas then moving on to the Sweet 16, lost to Auburn. I had then North Carolina runs into Auburn. Then Auburn beats Kentucky, and Auburn is now in the Final Four. Starting from the Sweet 16 up here, I had Virginia, I had Virginia and Oregon. I had Purdue and Tennessee. I was looking great. I still had, you know, I had seven of my eight. And all my Final Four teams were still alive. I was looking pretty good. Until I chose Oregon to beat Virginia, which didn't happen. I chose Tennessee. I mean, I chose Purdue to beat Tennessee. Uh, sorry, Tennessee to beat Purdue. Purdue won that in overtime with the world's worst uh, three-point shooting foul. Just let him shoot the damn ball if he makes it good. You know what? He made. He made it. You would have made an incredible shot. It would have been. You know, a March Madness miracle that a shot that would have lived in infamy for a couple a couple of months had the guy for Purdue made it. But no, he gets fouled, goes to the line, makes makes two or three. Game goes into overtime. Purdue runs away with it from there. So unfortunately, Tennessee was then out, and and then Virginia beat Purdue, and Virginia moved on. So the only Final Four team I got right was I told you guys, if you guys saw my video, I said I was not in love with this Duke team. I didn't think they shit shot the ball well. And I thought that, that it was going to get the best of them. And it certainly did. As they almost they almost lost to UCF on a on a putback. They almost lost to Virginia Tech on a lob where the guy just rushed the shot. He had 1.1 seconds. That's enough to, you know, aim your shot. He just kind of tried to volleyball it back up there, and it missed. Duke survived. Well, guess what? Suddenly, the horseshoe up your ass has to be crapped out one day, and that's what happened. Michigan State finally got the best of Duke. And, it, and it's great to see that. The fact that a team with, you know, higher leader... All these teams have high leadership. They have higher... Uh, aged leadership, and they're beating these one and one and done schools, and it's and I think it's something even Kentucky's been able to figure out because they just went out and they uh, signed a graduate transfer from Buck from uh, Bucknell. Some of these major programs are realizing you can't win with the one you're not going to win championships with the one and done kids. You need that those you need that core who is going to come together who's going to play for a couple of years and be able to create you that chemistry to watch out for Kentucky, who's going to have not one and duns, but they're going to be a much better team next season. But anyway, since Auburn ruins everything, Virginia just kind of survived. Then we get that. Then we go down here to the West region. I had Gonzaga playing Murray State, Buffalo taking on taking on Michigan, and Buffalo they they lost to Texas Tech. 
Then Michigan lost to Texas Tech. Who I had Buffalo anyway. I had, I had Buffalo beating Michigan. I just I just never thought Michigan had enough offense to keep up with even Buffalo. And against Texas Tech, they had no offense. That Texas Tech, I, I watched that game. Texas Tech just shut them down. I mean, it was the, probably the greatest defensive game by one team I have seen in a long time. I mean, that was just. That was just a beating. There was nothing Michigan could do to get around that Red Raider defense. And so, Texas Tech ruined everything, kind of. Not not as badly because they didn't knock out my champion. But they did kind of, you know, bust, bust my bubble here by eliminating Gonzaga. And so now, I'm getting to my final four picks. I'm just going to take... I'm just going to take Michigan State for now to win. I, I got Michigan State beating Texas Tech. And I'll take Virginia to beat Auburn. And then I'll take Michigan State to beat Virginia. Ending their run after the most embarrassing loss in, in NCAA history when they lost to UMBC. So... As of right now, I got Michigan State taking home this year's NCAA championship. Go Sparty. And this is Ken Raider signing out.